Now I would like to uh, go over uh, the other type of um, remachining method which is the valley machining and in order to um, demonstrate that I'm going to go ahead and uh, take another example in here. I hope you're all able to uh, view this part in here. So on this particular part, um, you can see that they have several areas that would require refinishing or remachining. So you could be starting out with a pencil tracing tool pack, uh, similar to what we programmed in the previous step, or you could go back and refinish uh, by specifying using a value remachining. So value remachining is an extension of the pencil tracing tool pack, and in here you could specify your reference diameter, which is basically uh, if you have you know, ran a finishing or a pre-finishing with a larger uh, tool, you could specify that as your reference diameter and it, you create a contact point based on the reference diameter to go back and refinish those areas using a valley remachining tool pad. So for the valley remachining operation, you would be using a tool that's smaller than your reference tool diameter. So in this particular case, I've selected a tool that's uh, you know, uh, 3.175, which is basically a quarter inch. Uh, it's an eighth inch in diameter. And you can specify in the cut, cutting parameters, you have the options to basically uh, split your cut angles and you can choose how you want the flat areas uh, to be programmed versus these steep areas on the model. So here I've chosen to do an along cuts for the flats and for the steep, I've chose to do a horizontal cut. So when the toolpath is generated, you will notice that in these steep sections, it's doing a horizontal cut. And as you go along in the flats, you're seeing that it does an along cut. So you have the option to control uh, how you want the cut pattern, cut pattern to be set for flats and steep. Now if you prefer using uh, the same for both flat and steep, you can set both the steep and flats to be along or you could you know, not have the slope control checked and do along for basically the entire uh, remachining toolpath. So I'm recomputing the toolpath in here and once the toolpath is computed you will notice that it does an along cut for both steep and the flats right there. Now there's your remachining toolpath so uh, depending on the reference diameter, what is set in here, so if you make the reference diameter smaller, uh, the number of passes that you see on either side is going to be much smaller. So if I make this reference diameter, let's say 10 millimeters, you're going to see uh, fewer passes in here. So based on the reference diameter, what is set, uh, you know, you, you get these multiple passes and you can control these step overs on valley machining. Now this is one of the uh, good use cases for valley machining tool but again uh, a ball mill or a corner radius tool would be an ideal tool selection for this type of uh, tool pad methods. A note on the reference uh, diameter, uh, you can think of it as uh, a fillet of that size. So uh, whether if you open up that dialog again, uh, so that reference diameter, what we do internally is, um, you can think of it internally that we uh, drive a cutter of that size, a ball end cutter of that size, uh, to create a fillet surface. Uh, so we actually well, figure out the bitangencies of that particular tool, and that kind of gives us a fillet surface everywhere. And then we come back in, and with that smaller tool that you chose for the operation, to actually machine that fillet surface. And that's where you're getting all those nice um, parallel tool pads. So that's some internal insight for you. Thank you, Joe.